I'm one of the owners of City Climb Gym, and I handle the route setting and a lot of the back end work around here. And I'm Erin, I'm the other owner of City Climb, and I do more of the front end stuff and social media and marketing. Uh, City Climb itself opened in 2012, and we both kind of had different roles here from the start. Mike was here before I was. Uh, so I joined the gym in 2018 as a member, uh, and that was the start of my kind of more competitive rock climbing career. And um, fell in love with the space, it's always had a great community vibe, and it's New Haven's oldest running and operating climbing gym. So many of the local climbers here have had their start um, at City Climb, and it's always been a very cool space for everybody involved. Um, and starting in 2020, I had the opportunity to work here, set some routes, I managed the gym for a while, and I kind of really enjoyed um, being able to provide the kind of community space and do right by all the members here in that role. Um, so when the opportunity came for us to be able to purchase it, it just seems like make a lot of sense for us to be able to do, at least for me, um, do a lot of the things and make a lot of the improvements that we were limited to, uh, limited in being able to do in various ways while I was managing it but not owning it. Yeah, and I started as a member not as long after you as I thought because I started coming to the meetup in 2019. So we do a, a Tuesday night meetup that's been going for years now um, that is every Tuesday night and people can just show up and throw on a name tag and get to know other people, do some belaying for each other. If they don't know how to belay, um, they can just climb and then take a class later. Um, but it's a great way to become part of that community that Mike was talking about. And I started there, um, made a group of climbing friends, started coming other days, um, eventually started working here part time as just belay staff and behind the desk. and. After that, um, you know, I, I made a slightly bigger jump because I never managed the place or anything like that, but I went from being part-time to being one of the owners here. And it's the same thing with Mike, just knowing that all these ideas that I've had that have maybe been put to the side for a little bit, or okay, we'll talk about that later, or we just didn't have the resources for, and now it's having that opportunity to really start doing those things in the gym and seeing the improvements to a place that we love so much is really exciting. This was a, an older Winchester building, so at one point in time it was either a firearm manufacturing or a warehouse for firearms. And this particular space where the gym is has been a climbing gym since 2006 when it was New Haven Rock Gym. Um, and that business was here from 2006 to 2010. There was a brief hiatus in the occupancy of the space from 2010 to 2012, and then um, City Climb was born in 2012. Um, and the building itself now functions as a, a bunch of other businesses are here as well. There's a uh, custom cabinet manufacturer and a supporting studio next door at one level. So for the bouldering section, we have a ladder that kind of allows us to access all the different parts of the wall. Uh, for the ropes, obviously, uh, we have a special process where we will tie a rope up in a manner where it's just a fixed line and we have um, what you would use in uh, outdoor like big wall or aid climbing to help us get up that rope um, and then special tools to position us on the wall so we can have both hands free to attach holds using the drill. Um, now to kind of create the creativity question, uh, that is more dependent on the individual proclivities um, of the setter, but the advice that I give everyone when they're first setting, there are two things. There's one, you know what the grades feel like, so just set to what you think the difficulty is. And two, as long as you make it fun and engaging and you set something that you would want to climb yourself, then people are going to like it. Um, so kind of that aspect of things will just experience uh, kind of, and the more you climb, that becomes easier. We do a lot of events, um, and that's like the burden I've put on myself. Um, I got a little carried away, and now I can't stop myself. Um, but so we do um, a member appreciation night every month. We try to do something a little bit different. We've done 
movie nights. We've set up a grill outside of this space right here and done a cookout before. In December last year, we had a really successful cookie swap that I'm really excited to do again this year where everybody just brought cookies and we gave everybody boxes and everybody went home with this mixed bag of homemade cookies. Uh, all kinds of different things like that. I'm trying to think of other ones. We, we did a Mardi Gras event here that was really cool where we actually hung beads from the tops of the top rope climbs. So instead of people throwing them, you had to climb all the way to the top and then retrieve them. Um, uh, what else? Um, trying to think of other events that we've done. I mean, those are kind of the, the big ones. Uh, but so we do member appreciation nights and then we also have several meetups that we do. Uh, we do an LGBTQ meetup every month here too that has proceeds that directly benefit the New Haven Pride Center if you're familiar with them. Uh, so we've been working closely with them to do some community give back type of stuff through the gym as well. Uh, and then we have specials that come up every month. We like to celebrate all kinds of um, you know, Mother's Day specials and Father's Day specials and holidays and uh, the most exciting one that's coming up is actually this Saturday, which is Global Climbing Day. Uh, so we're going to have a huge event here at the gym where we have all of the local businesses that we could muster come and set up tables and get to get to know some of the other business owners in New Haven and we're really looking forward to that. We think it's going to be fun and get a lot of people interested in coming and climbing. Yeah. We also uh, host a regular meetup group every Tuesday for a couple hours in the evening, and that's actually how we got involved in the gym uh, to begin with. We do kids' birthday parties. Um, like every weekend, we at least have, we have a couple yeah. birthday parties, um, and we're actually looking to kind of expand that into maybe some more adult um, birthday parties and more uh, the kind of corporate events as well. We have a lot of I think people think that it would be a fun, fun way to a lot of the time we do what's called an intro to climbing class, which can either be like a small group, but can be big group events as well. Uh, the uh, Latinos at Doors Connecticut group came and did a really big intro to climbing class with I think it was 40 people that came and had never climbed, and, but they got a grant from the North Face, I believe it was, and were, were able to come and do that for the first time here, and that was really exciting to see all these people get into the sport for the first time. Uh, and then, yeah, that's, I mean. Yeah, I think that covers pretty much. All the, all the events this. portion. So we do um, a couple different yoga classes a week, and then Mike actually teaches a strength, core, and balance class here on Wednesday nights, which I've frequented up until recently. <laughs> um, having both owners in the class at the same time is a little, uh, can be a little, <laughs> difficult yeah. <laughs> but yeah so we do fitness classes and intro to climbing classes and then we also teach ballet classes here so um, if anybody gets into climbing and they like it enough that they want to be able to be the person that holds the ropes we have classes available to teach them that too yeah so I have some friends in Massachusetts to thank for that I just went to visit them one weekend and the group of them were all very dedicated climbers that couldn't take a weekend off even though they had a friend visiting and I just went with them to their climbing gym and it was maybe two routes in that I was hooked and I found myself at home going okay when can I visit you again so we can climb again and I realized that there must be a way for me to climb without driving to Massachusetts so I just started looking online for you know rock climbing meetups and found the one that was here, which I, you know, I already mentioned that the meetup's how I got started, but literally just had never been to this gym before, didn't know it existed, drove here at, you know, 6 p.m. one night and was just hoping that there were people there because no one had actually rsvp to the meetup on meetup.com because everybody was such a regular that no one bothered anymore and they just knew that everybody was going to be there anyway. Um, had to call the front desk and have the manager at the time navigate me through the back parking lot because we can be a little tricky to find and I definitely thought I was in the wrong place but I started climbing and there was just such a wonderful group of people here that welcomed me into the climbing gym and showed me how everything worked and um, 
you know, it's, I think the community is what kept me here. The climbing was fun, but the community really, you know, sucks you in. For me, my, my sister uh, actually got into climbing, my younger sister, about 10 years ago, and uh, she took me out to one of the local crags, Ragged Mountain, and uh, I got on what was probably the easiest route at the crag, and I was freaking out the entire time and struggling up this very, very, in retrospect, easy <laughs> climb. Um, but for whatever reason, something during that trip stuck with me, and I went with her on several climbing trips over the next couple years, and eventually um, just decided I enjoyed the sport enough to try to do it on a regular basis, so then I started coming here. Um, again, like Aaron didn't really know this place existed, even though I've lived in New Haven for three years preceding. Um, but thankfully, you know, people were super nice, and I was able to rope one of my other buddies into becoming a belay, my belay partner, and um, the rest is history, I guess. Yeah. Now that we own the gym, we can do a little bit more with the space that we wanted, that we want to do. So uh, things like renovating the areas, uh, we've talked about maybe renovating the walls, we've talked about trying to, we're really excited about some new rental shoes that are coming in that are, that are long overdue and just updating the space so that it's the best that it can be for the people who are here. We want the, we want up to date holds and equipment and everything else that uh, getting, updating the holds, getting new gear for our first timers that aren't ready to buy stuff for themselves yet, um, maybe you know cleaning up the space a little bit, making the walls a little nicer. Um, those are all things that we can do to really give back to the people who have continued to be a really strong community here and really give everybody who finds here the space that they deserve. Uh, we're looking forward to that. I second all of that and uh, just anything that we can do to make the experience of people who are climbing here more enjoyable, uh, that's kind of what, what we're about. So, um, you know, there were a bunch of things that were left on the back burner for a while when we made some So we're shoring that up currently. Um, and then we really want to uh, improve the pop, all the things that Eric said. We're just excited about it and I think that we can bring a lot of energy into the space.